that growl you heard was my stomach. <laughs> this is called the monkey bread eating position. And today's taste treat includes bacon. <laughs> Today we're going to try the Ajo Drive, which is uh, 21 miles, I think. And there are a couple of hikes on it. And we're going to try, we'll pick one of the hikes. Organ Pipe Cactus National Monument receives an average of nine inches of rain per year, half in the winter wet season and half in the summer. If you're lucky enough to visit during a rain event, you'll be treated to magical sunrises and sunsets, as well as a phenomenon called petrichor, the smell produced when rain falls on dry soil. Ajo Mountain Drive is a 21-mile, one-way dirt road that is well graded and recently improved by hardening of low water crossings that were subject to flood damage during storm events. Vehicles over 25 feet are prohibited, but standard two-wheel drive vehicles should be fined. We've even done it on our e-bikes. There are two hikes and four picnic sites along the route, one with a restroom. A free guide can be obtained at the visitor center to correspond with numbered turnouts along the way. We are on the Ajo Drive and ran into Liz and Jeff again. Jeff is going to show us something he learned from the ranger. Okay, the ranger said you blow hot air two or three times into the creosote bush. <sighs> and the pungence, it will be creosote smell five times stronger. Okay, then. Okay. Is, uh, I, I think it's really kind of like oh, after a rain. It is really strong. Well, she said that when it does rain, Up your hand and you can smell creosote in the air. It's yeah, oh, just yeah. like really pungent. It, it yeah, is. It's really strong. It is. They come up over this ridge. That's amazing. are going to do the arch trail. I think it's a mile out and a mile back. It's, it's supposed to be a scramble up to the arch, right? Yeah. Which we probably won't do, but I say that now. So it's only 1.2 miles round trip. We need to find out how much water we got yesterday because there's some slippery spots here okay, okay. i don't want to hear another rib story <laughs> just how good they were it'll hunt. be a face plant yeah. <laughs> okay. okay adios what are those little things embedded in the rock This is steep. I think I'm just gonna try to get up there and then see what the view is like. It's slippery from the rain, so I'm gonna go back because it's still rather treacherous. If it weren't wet, fine. Well, it wouldn't be fine. It's still very steep. So I turned around. get on top of that rock. Do you think someone might have put it up there, John? From the backside, the only thing I could see was this upper arch. 
the upper, 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 way up there, Art. Okay. Glad we got good brakes. have moved sites so we got we got added a night and we moved sites to be farther away from the generators the old man wants something other than fig newtons for dessert so i'm gonna make some pumpkin bread and i have some whipped cream this time in the omnia oven i know he's serious when he volunteers to help mm, smells good <laughs> Tonight is the night that is supposed to be the best night for seeing the green comet. The moon is up, and we're going to see if we can see it from here. If not, we'll get up super early tomorrow. Well, not super early, like 5 a.m. After the moon is set and the sun rises here where we are in Arizona, probably closer to, let's see what it says, 7, 7.24. So we have a good hour where we can get out and see if we can see the green comet. That'd be pretty neat. And at 7 o'clock, there is a ranger talk at the amphitheater. They have them every night between January and March. So if you're out here, you can take care. Of it. You can take advantage of that. And the topic, I guess, changes every night. I do with the PowerPoint, but I'm like, here we are. Just have, like, we stayed up late. At 7 p.m., we stayed up late. Or, this is a very unique place in North America and within the deserts as a rule. There is no, we just heard the Air Force flying by here. The Air Force can use all of the land in this area to fly on, but they can't do anything but fly here. It is two reserves that come together uh, to protect what is once the largest volcano field and the largest order field in Our, the world. I put my sweatshirt on backwards. <laughs> all to go see a green comet that we may not see because the moon didn't set when they said it was going to set. How could they say it was going to set at 442 when it's, 442 now and it hasn't set. I can't get this off. <laughs> okay, one more time. <laughs> Are you going to get up? Are you going to go out there with me? Or is this going to be like that time in... Where we're... Oh, it's backwards again. <laughs> that time in... Was we in Oregon when we saw the... We saw that other comet. Lassen National Forest. Lassen. And went out and there were cows staring at me. <laughs> One more. Show us, show us how to tie those shoelaces. <laughs> One loop, two loop, three loops a dollar. Go see the green <laughs> comet and give it a holler. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm not. The coffee's not ready yet. Okay. So what were you just doing? Testing the water to make sure it's not too hot for his majesty, his, his whatever you are. <laughs> you were going to say majesty, but it just wouldn't come out, would it? <laughs> Grab my stick. There we go. Okay, you ready? Got to look at the camera and say, let's go. Let's go. It was a bust, we couldn't see it, but I think it's because there's so much light pollution here from Tucson and also from, um, from Mexico. So this is not a dark sky park. <laughs> they may say they are, but they're not. So that's the way it goes. Next time, another couple of hundred thousand years. We're gonna do this hike, the Desert View Trail. We're on a half mile loop.
was lame. I forgot my water bottle and John forgot his phone. We need a checklist. The third thing we forgot was the Leatherman, in case we get stuck by a Choya. Uh, what they're called, I have some at home. If I just walked a little further, I would have answered the question. It's fishhook pincushion cactus. Nice hike, one and a half miles, probably half mile back to the campground yeah. or campsite. Yeah. One look cute in your garden. Definitely a ladybug. Lady. So bug. who paints these? Is it Liz or you? Liz paints these. Wow. And she has the Adorable. neighbors. Adorable. The neighbors are together too. They they have rock <laughs> painting and Mod Podge. That's what you put over them. Yes. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. Oh, how cute. Oh, those are adorable. That kind kind of funky oh, rock. Yes. You know? Oh, yeah. And then I like oh. that one because that's just a awesome. Indian dude. Good job. I, I do. Oh, here's an echo. We're big fans. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hey, okay, now, now you're, now you've done it. Okay. What's your name? We're Judy and Reed from Pasco. Oh dear. <laughs> Meet you. We were just watching Hi. your video last oh night. Oh my you gosh. I recognize you. Nice to meet you. But I didn't see you yet. Reed, Reed Simpson and Judy Simpson. Hi. Oh wow. Nice to meet yep. you. Yeah. Judy, yeah. And you have Lynn and Owen's vehicle. Oh. I thought I'd jump in here in real time. I'm down at the beach editing in my beach office. And I just wanted to say if you guys ever see us on the road, please don't hesitate to stop and say hi. We love meeting you and we wish we could meet more of you. I'd love to do a meetup one day, actually a camp out type of meetup. And one of the things that I always do when I'm at these campgrounds, like the one at Oregon Pipe, is check out their group campground area to see if it might be a good spot to do a meetup. So anyway, that's always percolating in the back of my head. And if that's something that interests you, let me know in the comments below. Oh, that means we're not gonna see the comment tonight. Clouds came in at the last minute. I wasn't expecting it. I think I'll end this week's video here at Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. We have another two weeks on the road. Not sure where we're gonna be tonight, but it will be somewhere in Southern Arizona where it is relatively warm. See you next week.